Furry Delta II of 1954 experimental aircraft. To further the study of Delta Wing aircraft, Furry was commissioned to build two true high speed after burning research machines. Two aircraft were built with the RAF serials Whiskey Gonf 774 and Whiskey Gonf 777. The first was flown by Royal Navy pilot Peter Twiss. On the 6th of August 1954, an engine failure and principal gear up landing damaged Whiskey Gonf 774 and delayed the program for eight months. The second aircraft was refitted with an RA-28R Avon and an eyelid afterburner, which worked in a bang-bang on-off manner. On the 10th of March 1956, the FD-2 took the world speed record one when Peter Twiss flew Whiskey Golf 774 to 1,132 miles per hour. This beat the previous record set by an F-100C Super Sabre by 310 miles per hour and was to last 21 months, a long time in those days. Of fast pace aeronautical progress, Whiskey Golf 774 was converted BAC 221 in conjunction with the Concorde program. Whiskey Gonf 777 is now on display at the Royal Air Force Museum. The fuel capacity was very limited. With the aircraft's afterburner, there was only 25 minutes of flight. The second aircraft later became blue overall. The FD-2 featured a droop snort nose for better forward visibility on takeoff and landing. The nose was linked to the nose gear doors, which opened when the nose drooped. The Delta II was the first aircraft to exceed 1,600 kilometres or 1,000 miles per hour. The world absolute speed record of the two aircraft went on to contribute to the design of the Concorde programme. Specifications Crew 1 Power plant 1 £13,100 Thrust Rolls-Royce RA-28R Avon afterburning turbojet engine Maximum speed, 1,822 kilometres or 1,132 miles per hour. Span, 26 feet 10 inches. Length, 51 feet 8 inches. Height, 11 feet. And weight, 13,884 pounds. Well, I'm not surprised that three people have unsubscribed over the past few days. I was going to make a third video this week to make up for last week's midweek episode. Unfortunately, I have been ill again, just like Christmas, and that hasn't got done. We also have our main channel to think about, and our next channel that's being brought online in April. Otherwise, I would love to do daily videos on this channel. I really would.